Hey yo man, y'all know what it is, man. It's prison stories, uh, life in the pen hashtag, prison talk hashtag, in and out. And y'all know I always got somebody, I mean, to come along and tell you about their experience. It's my man Scotty, you know what I mean? We met on my on, on my first bid in Cassack, you know, starting off. Yo, Scotty, go ahead, introduce yourself. Yo, what's up, man? My name's Scotty. I'm from Coldstream, Buffalo, New York. I started it all. I started bed when I was on my last bed. I started when I was 23 years old. I've been convicted of uh, manslaughter for the degree. How much? 15 year bed. How much time you got? 15 years. What you end up doing off that? Um, 13 and a half. Okay. So, yo, throughout your experience in prison, you know what I'm saying, you know, how did? What was some of the things that you know, like, like, like? You could say shaped your way or, or your views or you know what I mean a life like just from a prison perspective. I ain't gonna lie, like growing up, how I grew up, we used to think that prison was like a rite of passage, like you wasn't a man to you did a bit, you know what I'm saying? But I used to always like laugh at my friends because they used to always go to jail all the time. I used to laugh at them like I'm stupid. I stay going to jail, you know what I'm saying? And, we so set, I was so set in my ways that I thought I was untouchable, that I couldn't go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I was doing crime so hard, I thought I, could, I was going to get away with it. You know what I mean? Until some serious shit popped off, and motherfuckers started running their mouth. And uh, I gave, ended up gave it up viciously. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting locked up. So when I, when I did get locked up, I always knew. I always knew the rules, you know what I'm saying? You, whatever you do, you gotta be accountable for it, you know what I'm saying? Don't take drugs, don't, don't tell your friends, don't tell your enemies, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to do your time. That's a fact. So, during your bid though, like, you ever seen anybody get stabbed, anybody get killed? Hell uh, yeah. What was. One thing about, one thing about prison is the State Department of Corrections. Like, if you're not. You're not promised to come home. That's a fact. You got COs coming through. CO, that's a fact. COs do. They be knocking dudes right off. So, what's something that you seen, like, far as when that made you be like, oh shit, like when you knew, when you seen something, when you came first came to prison, and you was like, damn, this shit real. What was it like? Explain to me. You know what I'm saying what you had seen that that let you know like this shit ain't this ain't no joke. The first thing I seen that was crazy. I was in Clinton. I never forget. I was in Clinton. I was in um, I was in E Block, and uh, dude was, you know, you know, doing the company. Dude was laughing, joking. You know what I'm saying? Doing their little deals, talking about TV, sports, cool bears, big beer pop, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the lights go out. No matter of fact, I, I, I wasn't in these like, I was in um, upper, I think I was in upper H. And uh, it was a, I was in the state shop. It was a state shop company. That's where you work. They make, make the clothes for inmates, the right? clothes for CEOs. And uh, it was an old timer, old timer was next door to me. And there was another young dude next door to him. Okay. And it, um, I don't know what the young dude was doing, but he kept flushing the toilet. He was flushing the toilet? He kept flushing the toilet at night, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like three in the, two, three in the morning. And them motherfucking toilets, they had them, this is the big industrial toilets. Oh yeah, the big toilet, he's just loud and shut All you hear is, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Take the whole back water, shut up. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's all you hear. So the dude was like, young blood, man, put you up. Hold off on the toilet, but I gotta get up. I gotta go to work at, in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Yo, just for y'all, not to cut you off, but just you know, when you dealing with an old timer and he say young blood, that's your warning right there. When <laughs> motherfuckers say, when them old niggas say young blood, yeah. hey, hey, young blood, would you? Right. Could you? That's that's your warning right there. <laughs> Finish going. He said, Yo, man, you hold off on the toilet, man. So, dude, was like, man. Man, stop talking to me, man. Like, what, what, why are you telling me about what I'm doing in my cell, man? Flush my toilet all night if I want to. And he kept flushing it. Oh, he some ignorant. Oh. Kept flushing it. Oh, he was flushing, flushing. So the old dude was like, all right, man, okay. 
I'm thinking he just brushed it off like, so I'm, I'm not thinking nothing of it. Because we get locked out from the child in the morning. Yo, when I tell you this old dude cut this nigga too short to shit, boy. He cut him too short to <laughs> shit? Yo, he, he cut, he cut. Yo, he put in some work on this young boy, man. Had this motherfucker scream, but I, I told you. You never, you never seen a motherfucker get a whooping? Yeah. From a, uh, Older person, they be talking to him. The whole time while they whooping it. Whooping yeah. He talking to the young boy while he's stabbing. Ooh. Yo, man. Was, that was like. Now you was right there in your head. Right there. What you was saying to yourself? I'm like, damn, all he did was flush the toilet. <laughs> Nigga done got wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga done got wiped out well, with no toilet paper. I'm 25 years old. I'm at the time. 25 years old is old when you hit the streets. But you know, 25 in jail, you, you still the youngest. You youngin', yeah. You got dudes up there 60, 70 years old, so. And that been been for I'm about. Like, I'm fucked up. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I wanted to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga wanna get the fuck up out of there, right? Yo, yo I ain't never flushed my toilet that night for a long time after that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yo, you, wait, 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 you ain't flushed the toilet no more? Uh, I make sure my, all my flesh be done by, by lights out. All my flesh be done. <laughs> 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 Nigga, oh, but they don't understand that, yo, when you in a max like that, that you dealing with a whole different environment of people, that the littlest thing can set a man off. You know what, they, what people don't understand that these people go be here forever. This is their life. When he said he got to get up and go to work in the morning. He really got to go. He was serious. He had to get up and go to work in the morning because that's that little... 45, 50 bucks he gonna make every two times there. He need that to survive. That's that's what he living off of. That garden that he got out in the yard. That's his vegetables. That's his real shit. He living off that. He gonna die for that. So did the young boy he just stabbed did the young, did the young boy live? I never seen him again. I tell you, I tell you, I bet he learned not to flush the motherfucking toilet. If he home right now, he don't even flush the toilet at home at night. <laughs> that motherfucker that motherfucker look whoever room is he it, even take shit. He did that. <laughs> I don't know who up, but I bet you he don't do that no more. <laughs> Hell no. Yo, yeah. so you know, you know, we know we see the vicious things, stuff like that. You know, have you ever been in a situation when you was in prison where you had to think about if you should walk away or not? Or you had to take it on a hop because it was just a smart thing to do? Have you ever been in that situation where you really had to tell yourself you wanted to be this type of way, but you knew that it was no winning with the situation? Yeah, you know, I used to, um, I used to, I started, I started gangbanging when I was in prison. Cause I figured like, I'm gonna be here for a while. I ain't got nothing else. I was a knucklehead. I ain't got nothing else to do. It's boring. I might as well have some fun. So, so when you became, yeah, so what I did you? I was smarter than all them, all them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you was, oh, you was above the average gang yeah, member. Yeah, I thought I was. Okay. Them, so. so what did you be, so what did you become? I became, oh, five, nine, bro. Oh, blood. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I had got into some shit, and I went to the jail. The next jail I went to, we was fooled. Oh, y'all was fooled. Oh, man, explain <laughs> to the people what fooled me. And we, was, we was on the menu. Like, y'all was, on a, y'all was up to be served. That means beef, that they was yeah, anywhere they go. <laughs> it was it was happening. <laughs> Nigga said, God damn. So, God just joined us to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> damn. So, boy, right. I guess word got out I was there, whatever the case may be. And, you know, like, the dude I came home under, that was my man. We was cool. We, we still cool to this day. We still kick it on the phone and whatnot. But he, my big homie was full. So, being that he was full, I was full. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, you a big nigga too, so that was a lot of food. <laughs> that was a, that was a, so, full, <laughs> right? I get to the jail and shit, you know. I'm still trying to like make a name for myself, man. Like, yo, niggas want you to come outside. I know what's about to happen when I go outside. It's lit. I'm outnumbered. I never, I haven't been in this jail. I just got here. I've been here two day, two days. I waiting to get off quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I know what's gonna happen when I come to this shit when I go outside. So I'm like, damn. What the fuck I'm gonna do, man? Like, I can't stay in my cell. That's. 
Why can't you stand yourself? Tell the people why. I'm stand myself. I'm soft. I'm a sucker. Like, nigga, it's coming from me. And you gonna have to do that shit all the time. Yeah. Nigga, wanna stay in that motherfucker, though. I wanted to. Nigga, wanna. I wanted to. I wanted to stand myself. Like, like but I can't stand myself. So now I gotta think how I'm gonna handle this. Okay. So I just said, fuck it. I'm gonna go outside. But I ain't gonna make it outside. <laughs> Wait, go. So you go, you said, yo, I'm going to go outside, but I ain't going to make it outside. I caught the first person who I knew was gangbanging in the hallway. And I unloaded on that right in, in front of the police. In front of, hey, yo, my <laughs> nigga, I'm so, yo, listen, A.B., A.B., you asked me in one of the, and when you and when you inbox me, A.B., and you asked me on, um, on, um, on YouTube, you know what I mean, certain ways. Remember what I just told you, A.B.? I just said this to him. I just said this to him. I was expressing this. I told him, I said, listen, if you ain't got no wins, it's a group of niggas, what you do is you pop in the mess hall, the hallway, the motherfucker, anywhere you know where the fuck help gonna break this shit up at. Cause help gonna be there and we getting the fuck out of it. You save faith, you save for yourself, and you just you just got you one off. So after that happened, you pop, what happened? I popped off. I drive styled a little bit because I, you know what I'm saying? I caught the element of surprise is a motherfucker, so. I come wet floor sign across the helmet and all that. Oh, you done took the wet floor sign? <laughs> Hit him with the guitar. Shit. Bung. Shit. I, kill, I, I kill every last one of y'all. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta say it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make an impression. So, yeah, so, uh, they, you know what I'm saying, they come, they, they rough me up a little bit. I try to, I, I make sure I get them a little problem. Cause that, that's another charge on the ticket. Yeah, because no so when you can show the ticket, yeah, yeah. So they rough me up a little bit, so now they, they taking me out of jail. I know I'm gone. I'm I, gone. I've got my and you go, and you got the ticket to be like, listen, I got yeah, I, <laughs> with, with everybody, police and all that. <laughs> they they tell me, oh, <laughs> right. So yeah. That's there. I left the shit, but did they send you what box they sent you to? They sent me the um, when I went to, I went to upstate box. Okay. All right. Yo, yo, hold on, y'all. Y'all know it's gonna be a part two. Hold on.